Today I'm in Lone Pine, California, and I've been out here now for three days. First couple days I was able to expose six sheets of film, and today I don't really have anything in mind. So I'm just trying to keep an open mind and hopefully I find something for the sunset evening time. But I do have a shot planned for tomorrow morning. This morning I was able to go out there with my Pentax 6.7 and just try to work on a few compositions um, before I take the 8x10 down there. But now I'm going to make some breakfast and get out there and see what else I can find. <laughs> Well, it's midday now, and I got, just got back from doing a little hiking around, and I ended up actually finding a composition I kind of like. It's this uh, small little pond with some grasses growing out of the water. And I was just going to kind of frame it looking down at the pond, and you could see the reflection of the sky. And it's a pretty good chance of a nice sunset today. There's some high clouds around, and I was just hoping, uh, hoping the wind was going to cooperate, but as soon as I found that shot, the wind started to pick up. And I got back here, made some lunch, and I checked the weather report and they issued a high wind advisory. So, I don't know if you can probably hear it right now, flapping the awning here. And the shot I have planned for tomorrow morning also kind of relies on some reflections and some water. So. <laughs> That's just how it goes sometimes, you know. Uh, looking at the weather channel, it said high wind up until Monday. That's four days of high wind. So I'm probably going to wait it out and attempt the photo tomorrow morning. But if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I can always come back another, another time and hopefully uh, have something to look forward to until then. So for this shot, I've got a little base tilt applied and some front fall just to get things uh, all lined up where they need to be. I've got these grasses here in focus and the deep mountains in focus. Now typically when I use any sort of tilt, 
I will focus far and tilt near. That's just the way I've been doing it. So focus on the mountains in the background and tilt for the grasses in the front. And you find that balance when they're both sharp. You'll typically lose the mid ground, but when you stop the lens down, um, everything is acceptably sharp in the middle as well. So that's what's going on for this shot. Wind is still going, but this shot's for tomorrow morning anyway. If I could, I'd like to leave my camera out just because I've got it all set up, but with the wind and there's a bunch of cows kind of walking around here, I don't want any of them bumping into my camera and the wind blowing it over. So I'm just gonna pack this up this evening and set it back up tomorrow morning. But now that I know where everything goes, what lens to use, what movements to apply, and uh, where to put my tripod. I'm pretty much set up for tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone. So I've got this shot all set up pretty much. Things are focused. I've got a two-stop grad and D on the front of this lens. And now I'm just waiting for the first light to hit those mountains. The only issue I could see now is when I was hiking over here, there was a band of clouds on the horizon to the east and I'm hoping that doesn't block the sun when it first comes up, so we'll see. Here we go. Loading in some Portra 160. So my meter is reading four seconds, which on Portra 160 is six seconds. Someone asked me what this is taped to the side of my camera. It's my reciprocity times. All right, here we go. First exposure is gonna be six seconds. Okay, I'm happy with that light there because I'm actually only seeing the top of the mountains in the pond. And right now the top is lit there. So I'm gonna take this final exposure and then move my camera in closer. Okay, six seconds on Portra 160. Wonder if that bird flew in my shot there. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly uh, move this setup a little bit closer and try for a second composition. I'm kind of sitting in cow shit right now. <laughs> I just kicked the cow patty. All right, move this over. Stopping my lens down to f45 and two thirds. Six seconds. 
Of the three sheets of film I exposed that morning, the first shot is my favorite. As the sun continued to rise, the reflection in the pond became too bright. And while technically this is a successful photo, I'd still like to see this scene a little earlier in the year. Maybe the grass will be greener and the mountains will have some fresh snow on them. But overall I'm happy with the composition. I'm going to call that a wrap on this week's video. I had a lot of fun here in Lone Pine and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. But I've got a pretty big trip plan coming up and I want to prepare for that. But as always, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.